All right, Mr. Mike. Here she is. Got the more ride enhanced fifth wheel. Apparently it's got some good bushings in there. I don't know. I don't know. Sucker's smooth though. Slide out number one for the master bedroom. Here's your gas tanks. You got a valve there you can transfer back and forth. The other tank is on the other side. I'll show it to you. Information on the camper. Here's the auto level system. When you get ready to get set up, you press that button and walk away. That easy. That's the hitchhike button I was telling you about. When you get ready to hook up to leave, you just press that button. It, it takes up all the jacks and puts it right back to your your height of your of your truck bed so you can just hook right on up <clears throat> this is the bigger compartment I was telling you about plenty of room in here and this is the the outdoor little spray hose here. Here's your two gray tank valves, your black water. That's a must. <clears throat> it's a regulator to keep pressure down on your on your pipes. Some campgrounds um, have too much water pressure and that regulates it. Here's the black black tank flush. Just hook the water hose up here. Open that black water. And she'll flush right out. And he, here's the valves I was telling you about for dry camp and city to winterize it. It's all color coded. There's your water pump, hot water, cold water. Here's where you hook up your cables. If you wanna run your satellite or your cable, and there's an auxiliary. It's your furnace. Slide out number two. That's the bunk room. And slide out number three. That's your kitchen area. Take you around back. Pretty tall. Of course, here's the barn. We've kept her in ever since we got her. This is pretty neat right here. If you want to get you a grill, there's your little gas hookup right there. You can just cook right on, right here on the back. You don't have to get propane tanks or anything. Hook it right up to the RV. It's your fourth slide out. This is the dining room slide out. Windows, awnings. And each awning has LED lights up underneath it. You can see them there. It's just strip lights. Nice handrail. Your second awning. Here's the outdoor fridge. With your grill. Never used. Got some blue LEDs. Uh, where are they? All in here, lights up nice and pretty at night. Outlets. You can take your water hose that I showed you earlier, hook it here for a little outdoor shower. Outdoor speakers. This is your other gas tank. Another 
other side of the storage. Got some plugs. And we'll go inside. As soon as you walk in, it comes into that, that mid bunk room. Set up for game chairs, gamer chairs, I think is what they call them. Pull this latch. And this comes down for a little sleeping area. Lights everywhere. Here's the desk. TV. Storage cabinets up top. And my favorite blue light. Pretty door. Go into the kitchen area. It's got a nice island. It's pretty cool here. Just press that down, pull it up, charging station. Push that red button, goes down. Stainless steel, everything. The cabinets, so we keep the trash can and our cleaning stuff. Kitchen wire. More storage. More storage. And here's the one control. You can actually hook, hook this RV up to your phone and you can run all your slides, all your awnings, all your lights, level it. Another cabinet, I call this my little bar area. Full size fridge, that is nice. It's whirlpool. Nice oven. As you can tell, we don't use it much. Gas grill. Blue lights. Little pantry area there. Can't have my sticker though. Nice big pantry. That's that pretty farmhouse look. It's a whitewash on the, on the trim. Big 50 inch TV. Fireplace. Turn it on for you. And it will heat up this room. <laughs> yeah, I think you can even change the colors on it. Blue, red, white. There's that sound bar that I hooked up for stereo. Where I keep my satellite box. Look at the windows. Recliners, and when I tell you they're comfortable, I'm 100% honest as can be. That is one of the most comfortable recliners I have ever sat on. It goes all the way back. You can actually sleep on those. Here's your dining room table. This folds out into a bed. Sleeper sofa that pulls out. You got chargers, USB in 120s. On both sides. Our top storage. Speakers. Fan. This 
nice decorative lights above the island that you can dim. Dim these lights too. Stairs. This ladder pulls out. That's how you access the loft up here. There's my knucklehead. Here's a shower. Blue lights. Big shower. Hooks, bunch of storage. Can't really see, there's nothing in there, but it goes all the way back to the back. Under, under the sink. Master bedroom. Blue lights. Here's your AC unit. will freeze you to death. Control it right there. Another charging center. It's also got plugs on each side of the bed down at the bottom. That's where your washer and dryer hooks up to look, hook up. Sorry, I'll show you that in just a second. You got windows everywhere. <laughs> storage space you can tell how much we use it and this is where your washer and dryer go there's your hookups your hot and cold water and your drain valve you just take these shelves out and bolt them in double mirror sliding doors big closet trim king bed carpet in the master that is it fire extinguisher storage underneath the seats trying to think if I've missed anything <laughs> 